everybody, Anne here. It is a sunny but chilly, chilly morning out today, so I've got my beautiful new soft jacket on, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you. And late yesterday, UPS pulled up and dropped off some packages for me. It's the same UPS guy every time. It's so funny. I'm like, oh, did you bring me prezzies? And he's like, yes, as usual. And it's like, I'm really, really excited. So here, let's go open these. I had been told by a couple subscribers that I was going to be getting something, but I wasn't sure what day, and so I don't know. This may be something I'm expecting. It may be something I'm not expecting. I'll tell you what, let me just get all this cut through, and then I'll open it up. Let's see what this is. This is what I was waiting for. It is the chicken coop. Check it out, guys. I have to put this together. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done today. But this is the chicken coop I was waiting for. Today, I, um, I had been putting some chicken wire around the outside of the coop. It's not finished yet. And i got to cut some holes for the doors and stuff. And so this, I wasn't sure when I was getting it, but this is it. This is the chicken coop. I cannot wait to put this together. Alrighty, let me go sit in this chair and um, gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe this. Oh, I hope I can get this together. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get this together. I can do it. I can do it. Alrighty, thank you lovely person. You know who you are. This is, this is so cool. Alright, let's get this one. Open it up. Ha ha ha. What is this? What is. Hmm. 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 Let me see if Oh! It's that garden thing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to open that in just a second. But this, this comes with a little chair. Man, I could have used this today. I had it on my wish list, but I had taken it off. So I don't know if the person bought it right before I took it off my wish list because I just thought, you know what, there's so many other things I need. You know, this is, this is like extravagant, and it is. All right, let me, let me just look. Hi, Ann. Thought these would brighten up your day or night from, I'm not going to say your name because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, but thank you, kind sir. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And says, hi, Ann. Thanks for being real from... I'm not going to say his name, but okay, let me let me look at the rest of these. What is this? Solar copper wire lamp. You know what? I may have had this on my wish list too at one time. I'm not sure. Let me... Oh, this is what this is. Look, look, it's one of those things that you... I guess you put it together and you put it inside a jar or something. Um, hang on. Yep, see, there's a little copper lamps. There's the, I don't know how to put this together, but I will figure it out. Um, it's got instructions in it. I think you put these in mason jars. I'm not positive, but let me see here. Let me see. Um, okay. Let me see. Solar, solar, oh, they're just copper string lights. So, you know what? I am going to set these up. Um, it's not very sunny today, but I'm going to see if I can get them to charge anyhow. And I bet you these are going to be gorgeous. Okay, let's look at the next thing. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let's... Oh, yes! Look, look, look. These solar lights, I was going to buy some of them. You can line your drive with them. I will probably put them somewhere where Betty won't be able to pull them up. Um, I know I'm going to put some down by the road. I've just got so many. I've got a ton of them. So you know what? I'm going to set these up today too, and figure out. I got to figure out where I'm going to put them. Hmm. <laughs> I have to figure that out. This is an amazing gift because it's solar powered and I love solar powered because it's free energy. Okay, now let's look at this. This, this I definitely wanted and I can't believe it. Let me see if there's any additional notes here. 
I think it's all from this. Yeah. Hi, enjoy your gift. I shall. I shall. Okay. I tell you what, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you all the different pieces. Hang on. And there it is. See, it is a little bag that you basically just snap on to the seat and it's got plenty of storage, plenty of storage inside as well and you can remove the bag if you want it. Now I don't know that I'm going to leave these little tools out like this. I'll probably put them facing down so I don't poke myself with them but it's got all of these different gardening tools and I sure could have used these earlier today. I was sharing some of my some of my sproutlings and I basically just dug them up with my hands and I probably damaged the roots a little bit so I've got all these gardening tools now plus oh this would have been great earlier if I could have had this to sit on because I just was basically bending over and that was kind of hard to get everything done so I think what I'm gonna do is I will probably keep these larger pokey ones down in here so I don't impale myself with them and as I get other things I will put them on the outsides or I don't know I might be able to put them like out here and then sit on top of it but this is very cool this is a very very nice item it's perfect for me it's gonna make my gardening adventure so much easier so thank you so much I also just received notification that I've got something waiting for me at the Home Depot. So I've got to get out there to the Home Depot and pick it up. And I'll show you what it is when I get home. So I've got a big busy day ahead of me. And whew, I haven't even finished my coffee. Well, I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to get going. Well, today turned out to be totally different than I thought it was going to be. I went into town because I had to go to Home Depot and pick up the screen door that's in the back. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ton of stuff back there. I decided to use my time in the city wisely and uh, DoorDash was like going crazy. So I did a little bit of DoorDash and earned a little bit of money. Yay! And I stopped by Walmart to pick up the soil. I had to go to two different Walmarts actually. So I picked up the soil that I like and then I picked up the hummus and manure compost mixture that I like. So I've got a whole bunch of, of that in the van. Um, I stopped by Goodwill and uh, I didn't buy anything this time. There just wasn't the right thing that I wanted there. So, oh, did I miss my turn? Nope, I didn't. Um, it's coming up right now. So you know what? I'm going to get off here and when I get home, I will talk to you more. And just look at my pretty tiny house all the way up my drive and it looks like there is something waiting for me on my front porch. Yes indeed, there is something there waiting for me. I've got all my little lights out here charging in the sun. I need to pull them off the porch. And I've got one, two packages. I can't wait to see what's in them. Let's see what this is. Huh. I think I know what this is because I was told I was getting some, yep, this is what that is. It is the pure diatomaceous earth. There's a lots of different stuff you can use this with, but as you all know, I have an ant problem. So this is going to be dedicated towards that. Um, I know that I have to do something with the borax as well. And there's like a like two-step method or three-step or whatever um, into eradicating the ants. So I'm going to read up on how to do that and use it. And this comes from Connie. Thank you so much, Connie. You've been so generous. And this, I never would have purchased this for myself, honestly, because I feel like it's a luxury. But you know what? I really do need this. So thank you so much. Alrighty, let's get the next package. There we go. Now it's open. Oh, I know what this is. This is also, I'm pretty sure, let me look, also from Connie, Ant and Crawling Insect Killer. This is more diatomaceous earth, but it's got something else in it, I think. Well, I tell you what, I, I need to be armed for battle in battling these gosh darn ants because they're everywhere and they are approaching the tiny house. In fact, there were some up on my um, steps the other day, so... This is great, Connie. Thank you so very much. You're going to help me get rid of this ant situation. It's only a matter of time before they get in the house. So I think between the, the three things that you got me, um, 
I think that this is going to definitely work. All righty. Thank you so much, Connie. You know, it was draining going into town today, but it was so worth it. I got to pick up a Prezi, and I got to do a little bit of door dashing, which, you know what, that's getting less fun as the time goes by, because all I can think about is being at home, out here, doing my little projects. So I want to show you the progress that I made on the, uh, I keep looking in the wrong place. I need to look over there. Um, on the chicken coop, and um, it's not finished yet, and I haven't started building the wooden one, and it's okay for me to tell you, Donna got me the wooden chicken coop that I'm going to be putting together either today or tomorrow, depending, and thank you so much, Donna. That is just a perfect addition to this homestead. I can't wait till it's, I can't wait to see how it looks. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. So let me just show you what I've done on the little chicken run thingy so far. Look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that pretty? Yes, it is. All right, all I did is I took the chicken wire and I wrapped it entirely around the whole thing. And I've just kind of attached it haphazardly right now with little wires. I'm going to get some zip ties and whatnot because I've ran out of wire. Um, and, you know, secure it better all the way around, like right here. But what I've done is I've cut out little spaces for the doors. Now, I've left two of them. See, I left the little pieces off that I can attach back to the doors. Um, I've left two of them open because I'm not sure which door, either this one or the one over there, that I'm going to put the little wooden coop attached to. But on this one, uh, I had to kind of attach it to the inside because the handles, it would just be kind of hard to, you know, work around the handles and whatnot. So I just need to secure this a little bit better and close this up. Oh, come on. Oh, you get the idea. And I also, I've got some more chicken wire left. Um, I kind of messed up and didn't cover this part. So I will be getting another piece and covering that bottom part. And I might need to reinforce a little bit along this side too because I think that's a little bit too far open. I think a snake could get in it. I mean, a small snake could get in inside of this chicken wire, but um, I don't know. This is what I had, so that's what I used. And then this door has been left open. This one comes completely off. So um, if I decide not to put the wooden chicken coop up into here so the chickens can go in and out. Uh, I, I will just go ahead and cover that up. And then I left this one open too. So I don't know which one is going to work better. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, either way, I'm going to have to enclose this bottom part here and do the same, do the same around here as well. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the roof. Um, I've heard a couple of different things from different people, but here's the roost. I'm wondering if I could just pull that cover over, over here, over the part where they get up on that cute little bar. Um, and then maybe just cover some of the rest of it with a tarp. I'm not sure. Um, someone said they, some of it needs to be uncovered because they like the sun and whatnot. So I think it's all just going to have to do where I'm going to put the little wooden coop um, that has two nesting boxes in it, I think, from what I remember. So all I need to do is get it secured up a little bit more, build that little wooden one. I cannot wait. It's going to be so cute. Now, it's not a super big one. Um, that's why I went ahead and got this two to use the two in conjunction. So it's going to be exciting when I get it all done. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it done today or not, but we will see. Just as I was done opening up those other presents, the UPS guy came and look what he left me. Now those two things over there, I ordered. Those are the solar panels. So I've got my solar panels. Uh, the battery has already arrived. I'm just waiting on the charge controller. And I've got these two boxes, and I'm pretty sure I know what they are. So I'm going to just real quick tear into them and let you see what they are. Okay, I've already cut into this. Let's see what it is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is also from Connie. Look at, she got me some healthy dog chews, brushing chews for Betty 
and it's used to scrub teeth and whatnot, and it's going to be safe for her, much better than that other crappy bone I got. So this is great. Thank you, Connie. And Betty is going to thank you, too. She's inside right now taking a nap. And then this is what I was waiting for, too. Check this out, you guys. It's a good thing they put it in this little bag because a good bit of it spilled out into it, but I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to be able to get it back into this container here. This is also from Connie. It is a Tide Pure Clean detergent. It is plant-based, so I'm going to be able to wash my clothes and then use the water from it to put onto my plants, so this is great. Alrighty, let me get this one open, and that's the last one for today. Alright, what is this? What is this? Okay, I gotta open it. Holy crap. I did not know I was getting this. Now, I don't know. I don't know if this is from Connie or not. This, oh, oh Lord have mercy. This is a mortar and pestle. Look at it. It is a big one, too. I did have this on my list. So, oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. I have wanted one of these for so long. Oh, it is just gorgeous. Look at this. It is so big. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is so fantastic. Oh, here, let me look at this. It's got this little thing. I don't even know what it's for, but it's pretty. Um, let me see what this says on it. Hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift from Laura D. Thank you so much, Laura. Oh, look, look. It comes with a little spoon, too. Oh, Laura, this is so, so awesome. Thank you so very, very much. Look at it. This is so great. This is so great. Oh, my goodness. This makes my day. This day has been just unreal, totally unreal. Not how I expected it was going to be. I, I had planned on doing one set of things and I ended up doing another set of things and it's just turned out so great. So first of all, I do want to also thank, there's been a couple, two, three people who have donated to my PayPal. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. It helps. It's enabled me to go buy more stuff for the homestead and thank you. This person actually requested to remain anonymous, so thank you, anonymous person. Yeah, but thank you for the screen door. Um, I'm sure it's going to fit just fine. I cannot wait to put it up. Thank you, Donna, for the chicken coop. That is just so amazing. That is a very special gift. All of these gifts are very, very special gifts. And thank you, Connie, for the dog bones and the ant stuff and the detergent. And thank you, Laura, for the mortar and pestle. I have wanted one of those for so, so long. And I just really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So this video is getting long enough. Um, I'm going to put this stuff away. I've got my solar panels. Oh, I don't have the charge controller yet, so I can't set up the solar. Um, but I'm still going to try and get that chicken coop set up today after I get stuff put, around, uh, put away. And then I'll show you how that all turned out tomorrow. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.